Hey, today I'm going to show you how to create this really interesting looking shape using MoGraph shaders and some noises. So let's get into it. So the first thing we want to do is create a shape. So once we create our cylinder, then we quickly need to clone it. So we can see here we have only three. So we're going to bump these up to maybe 50 and 50. Let's scale out. Now let's reduce the size of these so they're, they're closer together, 50 by 50. That probably looks a little bit too tight. Let's try 100 by 100. And that looks a little bit better. Scale out. Next thing we need to do is go to MoGraph Effectors and come down to Shader. Now we need to jump into our parameters, make sure that it's not being scaled. Our position on the Y, we can just bump this up. So this means that our shader will affect only to, pos to position Y. So we'll push everything up, come into our shader, select noise. Where are you? There he is. And now you can kind of see what's happening. So the noise is driving that, that position. So if we put on our animation speed and we press play, we can kind of see what's happening. The, the shader is driving the motion, which looks really cool already. Um, we can increase how much this gets affected by, you know, now we're saying it's going to rise 514 centimeters. So that shader is really pushing this stuff up now. If we do come into our shader, what's really great is if we go to global scale and we crank this up, like we keep cranking, keep cranking, now you're seeing it starting to smooth itself out. And now we're getting this really cool looking, almost like a wavy C motion without any, any effort whatsoever. Now, to get this onto a shape um, is quite easy too. So all we gotta do is create a new shape. We're gonna create a sphere. Let's just scale that sphere up a little bit. So we come up here, we click on our shading so we can see our lines. And then we just need to change the distribution type here so that it's a lot more even. This will help us when we're cloning the object to the sphere. We drop our sphere in here, reactivate our cloner. And now we're seeing this, you know, it's looking kind of weird right now. But, but let's try and fix that so we can see, you know, the sliding. And you could probably do something cool with this as is. But let's try and fix this now. So we can change our rotation values inside of the cloner and that hasn't worked. So let's take a look at the distribution or the up vector. So we can set this to our vertexes on our distribution. If we check our up vector and we set that to plus x, uh, minus x, plus y, and then we come back into our transform and we start to play with these. Now we're starting to get a. Eh? So if you put this at minus 90, yeah, because 90 doesn't work. So if we go minus 90 here, now we're starting to see something happen. So the next thing we need to do is take a look at our sphere. So, you know, we can mess with it. This will all react to the sphere. And because we've set this up to be like on the edges, we can increase our segments. And as we increase, we'll get more clones. And now we're starting to see that really kind of organic, you know, soft body look. Um, and because this is all live still, you can go and you can play with the, the height and the radius and the segments and, and, and do whatever you want. This can be any object. If you update the object in your cloner, um, it will just update the animation. We can get more extreme lifts by messing with the contrast. So you're kind of seeing it looking a bit crazy. And you can make it a lot smoother by bringing that contrast down. So let's give ourselves some more frames so we can kind of see the variety. Yeah, and like really, it's a really super simple effect. So if we bring that contrast right down, it's a lot more subtle. Kind of have a nice middle ground here. 
and that's how you do it that's pretty much it you know you can mess with the scale to get things looking a bit more jaggy or sharper um, so you play with contrast play with scale you can change the noise types um, and that's it guys um, you know take your caps off do some weird stuff I'd love to see if you guys make something cool from this effect um, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this and all the best.